Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be testing the Hyphon RC ESC. Now, this is a budget stack that's recently been released from a new name company. And we're going to be testing the ESC along with or just comparing it with the iFlight budget ESC, which is the iFlight Sucks X E45 amp, and also the Mamba F50, which is also a budget ESC lineup from Diatone. So we're going to see how well this stacks up because the Hyphon RC stack is a really re at a really reasonable price, I think around 60 bucks, which has like a 9 volt regulator, Bluetooth, F7, and also a 6S ESC, which is pretty insane. So we're going to see how well the ESC part stacks up with both the low ESR capacitor and without a low ESR capacitor compared to the other budget ones. So with that being said, everything is linked down below. If you could check those out, those do greatly support the channel, guys. And also the timestamps are down below. So if you want to skip to another part of the video, you could go ahead and do that. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. PCBWay is one of the leading PCB manufacturers out there, and it is the manufacturer I use for my products. Now, if you're either a hobbyist and or looking to create a final product, PCBWay is going to be a really great choice with their 24 hour and also assembly services. So go ahead and check the links down below. So now we're going to take a look at the throttle noise level test. Now the way this works is I take the reading at each throttle level. We have 10% throttle, 25, 50, 75, 100% throttle, and I run these for one second each and we can see the noise reading right here. Now the thing you always want to look out for is you want to see this as thin as possible because this is your main battery voltage actually fluctuating up and down, which is something you don't want and that's what's called noise. So one number we always like to look at is the peak to peak here. Now the peak to peak on this is 16 volts. This is the Hyphon RC here with no capacitor. The bottom ones are the one with the capacitors and we'll get into the capacitors in a bit here. So the peak to peak was 16, .8, uh, 16 volts and the main battery voltage is at 16.8. So if we divide this by two, that means it was spiking up eight volts and spiking down eight volts. That's a lot of noise right there. Um, so I would never recommend you set this up without a low ESR capacitor because look at the difference down here. And again, we'll jump into that in a bit here. And the highest voltage spike was 26 volts. The lowest voltage drop was 10.6, which is totally acceptable. The voltage spike is it, it's it's acceptable in simulated aggressive flight maneuvers, but it's not really acceptable in throttle noise level test. So yeah, we'll, we'll get back to that in a bit here. Now here, for example, we have the Mamba, which was a peak to peak 8.4 volts. So basically the Mamba is twice as good in terms of the noise reduction, which is pretty crazy actually. This was not without a low ESR capacitor. Also the uh, the iFlight would be a really good candidate as well. Both the iFlight Sucks XE, which I have linked down below and the Mamba F50 are really great budget ones. Uh, this one, you can get away with using it again, but just make sure you put that low ESR capacitor on it. For example, if we take a look at the Mamba, the maximum was 20.4 volts and the minimum was 12 volts. So it dropped just down to 12 volts and the highest voltage spike was 20.4 volts here. And again, this is the the highest voltage spike was 26.6 volts. God damn, 26.6 .6 volts. Um, so yeah, make sure you add that low ESR capacitor. That's all I can tell you. You'll be totally fine. Uh, but if you had the opportunity to purchase some other budget ESC, I'd highly recommend the Mamba or a iFlight. So let's take a look at the capacitor, what the, what the amount of difference it makes. So here we had the peak to peak at 16 volts. When we added the Loisar capacitor, the, the peak to peak voltage went down to 7 volts. So that's just 3.5 volts up and 3.5 volts down. That is insane, as you can tell right there. That is a huge improvement. As you can tell, the Mamba with the Loisar capacitor went down to 6.4 volts. So the, the amount of difference a capacitor will make is dramatic. So it'll really clean out everything right here. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Always add that low ESR capacitor because on 6S voltage, this would be actually a lot worse. Uh, this right here would be a lot worse. So yeah, definitely add that low ESR capacitor. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the simulated aggressive flight maneuver noise test. So now we're looking at the simulated aggressive flight maneuver. This is simulating a worst case scenario, very harsh on the ESC. Some ECs don't handle this test. So let's go ahead and see how the Hyphon RC compares to, for example, the Mamba here. So first of all, you can see it's pretty dramatic. I mean, you always want to see this as flat as possible. This thing is just going up and down. Look, peak to peak, 20.8 volts. The maximum voltage spike was 28 volts. That's crazy. Remember, this is 16.8 volts right here. That's what the battery is giving. And uh, this is what you're getting back to the main uh, system right here. So 28.8 volts for the uh, voltage spike. And the lowest drop we got here was around uh, 8 volts. It's okay, it's kind of acceptable, but not really. Uh, but we'll just let it go because it's worst case scenario. 
Now, for example, the Mumba here on default raw performance without a low ESR capacitor, uh, we had a peak to peak of 12.4 volts. Again, you want to see that number as uh, small as possible here. Voltage spike was at 21.6 volts and the voltage drop was around 9.2 volts. And this is again without a low ESR capacitor. And usually this translates into real life that the ESC is going to handle quite a bit more abuse and will handle much more current. Um, they both handle the same amount of current, but this right here over time really degrades the FETs and just your overall system, your flight control, whatever might be a video transmitter. Uh, this is something you really don't want to see here. However, if we if you did purchase this, it's still not bad, but make sure you add that low ESR capacitor. So this is the low ESR capacitor. Look at the difference it makes when you just add that capacitor and it does come with one. So we can see that with the capacitor, we've basically decreased the noise by 50% percent which is insane so for example with the mumbo when we added the capacitor it didn't decrease around 50 percent because it was already good it was already really really great here uh, and you could see that the peak to peak went down to 8.8 .8 volts and here with the capacitor on the high phone it went down to 10.6 volts so for example we went from 28.8 .8 volts on a voltage spike down to a 20.6 volt which is which is much better obviously and very acceptable here and um, as you could look at the Mamba, 21.6 without a low ESR capacitor on voltage spike. And now for a voltage drop, we went uh, up to 10 volts, which is much better here. The higher the voltage drop, the better. We don't want this to dip below. Really, I would say the baseline would be 9.5 volts, but it's very difficult to say. But obviously, the lower it is, the worse it is. So you got to be careful. For example, here we dip 9.2 volts and here with the capacitor, we dip 9.8 volts. But it's subjective because sometimes it means the ESC has more power delivery and it's able to so just take more amperage down to the motors from other ESCs. So the voltage drops are, yeah, are pretty subjective here. You, you can't really go by them. Um, for example, I'm pretty confident. I mean, with this kind of result and this kind of a voltage drop, that, that kind of tells me that the power delivery on the Mamba F50 is much better. Plus also when I was soldering on it, it was an absolute bitch to solder onto because it just kept dissipating all the heat and I had to keep increasing the temperature of my soldering iron. So it kind of says a lot, especially when you're working with them and you're soldering on them, you, you could tell that the ESC is going to be at least pretty good at, you know, heat dissipation. Remember, this is the one without the heat sink too. If it's the one with the heat sink, it probably perform even slightly better. Actually, we should test that. And um, yeah, well, overall, the HiFon RC is okay with a capacitor without a capacitor don't use it or you will have a high probability of burning it and or ruining it or ruining some other component on your uh setup here especially with 6s voltage this thing could probably pop up to 40 volts or you know with the voltage these voltage spikes so be very careful with that and uh, make sure you add that capacitor and with that being said i will be building the hyphon rc with a capacitor in a budget build upcoming very soon so we can get a real life test going on for it and just keep using it and see whatever happens and then i would update you guys so and again everything is linked down below if you could check those out those do greatly support the channel and come join my patreon i do a ton of giveaways there and i give you a lot of stuff so just click on it read it see if you like it join if not don't join i give away a lot of great stuff i don't give away some bullshit stickers and stuff i give away premium components and well that's it guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace